All right, so we're talking about now how to get between the chords, right? You've figured out all the strums, you can play it without stopping, but now let's try to figure out fancy ways to get between chords. And one of the first things I ever heard on a recording was this. And I thought, boy, that's just amazing, right? I need to be able to do that. So I figured it out. All it is is the sixth string open, then the sixth string second fret, and then G chord, right? So O, two, G, right? So I said, wow, that sounds so beautiful. How can I do that in time, right? Okay, well, here's D, let's say. Right, so I'm using my first strum that we did, right? Down, down, up, up, down. And I'm just cutting off the end a little bit so I have time to get that in there, right? So I'm going down, down, up, up, O, two, G. All right, a little slower, I'm going down, down, up, up, O, two, G. Now, of course, you could do this to every strum, but let's just stay with this one for now, right? So I'm going G. E minor, C, D, and now here it comes, right? Down, down, up, up, O, two, G. Right, so you see how nice that could be, right? Now G is not the only one you can do that to, you could do it to every chord. So how about we try for E minor? Now E minor is the same thing for G, right? You could do O, two, E minor. That sounds nice, right? Or for C, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time on the fifth string, right? So I'm going O, two, C, right? O, two, C. And I could do the same thing to D, but this time I'm gonna use the fourth string, O, two, D, right? So let's just recap that, right? We have G, O, two, G. Then for E minor, O, two, E minor. Then C major, this time we're gonna use the fifth string, right? O, two, C. Then D major, we're gonna use the fourth string. All right, now, by the way, there's a million other ways to do this. This is just one way of doing it. So, here we go, I'm gonna put it, play the whole thing now. So we have G to E minor, O, two, E minor. Now we're gonna to go to C, so we go O, two, C. Then D. And then G. All right, so that's a fun way to get between chords using bass notes.